So you, you imagine that uh, people who are depressed, eventually they become mad. And when they become mad, they are a nuisance to others. In fact, they mad people are you know, dangerous uh, human beings. But in, 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 uh, in the courts of the world, someone who is insane is uh, relief of any wrong way. And in fact, even in, in our religion, if someone is insane or has lost his mind, he's exempted from certain religious obligations. So, um, would mad people then, uh, uh, would they be able to achieve happiness because they're mad? Yeah. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> it's a very, very good question, enlightening question for all of us that um, mad people, uh, because of the process, they become mad. And mad also got different, different kinds of madness. One is because of sickness. And that sickness is the taqdeer of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in that sickness, there is a hikmah, Allah knows. But each and every uh, incident or even or kajadian, there is a hikmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where Allah says, قَدْ جَعَلَ اللَّهُ لِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدْرًا each and everything happen in our life or to anyone, there is a qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's decree there. And that decree only Allah knows. So, this person become mad if it is because of his own deeds, because of his own wrong choice, purposely, 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 he become to be a mad, that will become a uh, kind of uh, punishment for him. Maybe in dunya itself, Allah knows. Allah knows the best. But it could be a punishment that uh, we can find out from the uh, teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Sometimes sometime Allah may give punishment in dunya itself for their wrongdoings. And sometimes Allah will give different, different, different tests and trial. Um, and through that test and trial, Allah will examine this person also. So this mad man actually is a calamity for himself and also for others and also for others uh, so society cannot judge on him society have responsibility look after him we must look after him even though he become a madman depressed depressed man or whatever reason drug addict or anything any reason he become a madman and uh, in front of him he is abnormal so it is our duty to look after him and give him the proper treatment, guidance and everything. And in that uh, perspective also there is a balance. There is a balance. Uh, so in that balance we have to bring in practice. Bring in practice. Of course, because of his madness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may examine us also. If let's say the madness happened as a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in one village, three people, four people, bad character, bad attitude, I mean purposely do bad things, and we never try to stop them. We let them do, let them do, let them do, let them do. So we also become part of shubha for them to become in this situation. In this situation. Even we become part or we didn't become part, it was happened as it is. Yes, it's a challenge for the Ummah in that village. So when the Azab come, even the innocent people also will subject to face the Azab together. This is the reason that for Lukifaya that we have to uh, try to stop uh, immoral things and immoral activities. Because of that immoral way of life, people may become mad because of behavior, or behavioral changes due to certain, certain uh, imposed reasons, not nature, not natural one. Natural one, uh, the remedy is there, sabr. Because Rasulullah taught us that uh, it is wonderful for a believer who believe in Allah, I mean, if a good thing come to them, that also good for them. If a musibah affected them, that also good for them. But how do we uh, bring a equilibrium here to divert this issue to happiness? So there is no other remedy except the sabr. So the value of patience actually, I, maybe I will uh, add, I mean I will uh, share with this, this also. Someone met an accident, 
in the hospital. Pata Kaki broke the legs, two legs also broken, and now in cement. And maybe our friend, we went there. The reason of his accident, maybe is bad attitude. Marampit or whatever, could be. So we go to the hospital, visit. we have a mind now, oh, it is his own, his own deeds, he facing this problem now. But return to our Islam, eh? Musiba also good, Khair also good, right? So for this brother, that Musiba is a good. And for us also, the Musiba is a good. That's why Suratul Mulk. Allah teaching us Suratul Mulk, the first verse and second verse, very clearly Allah teaching the same thing. So now we reach the hospital and he is lying down like that, like vegetable, cannot move. And we talk to him, brother, please sabr. They got two replies you can expect from him. He said, ah, if you say to sabr also, I have to be like this. If you don't say sabr also, I have to be like this. Then what is the point you ask me to sabr? Right? So, how we can shower the happiness to him in that moment? It's a question mark for all of us, the tajarruba, you know, experience that we have many experience like that. Many, when we do counseling with people, they have at the age of 46 all got all these major disease, major disease, and they come to office and to masjid, whatever, and ask, please teach me to do tawbah. And at that moment, he already been infected with ABCD disease. So we ask him, sabr, you know. So we ask him, tell him to sabr is not a good answer, right? What to say? Face the punishment from Allah, that is good, also not good. Uh, this is what you deserve it, do it, no, also not good. So how do we shower the happiness to us? But in reality, my dear brothers and sisters, in, in most of these kinds of situations, eh, if people come to me, I suffer. I tell you personally, I will suffer myself. That my message, I mean the true message of Allah couldn't reach to them. My failure, our failure. Maybe there's a reason they become like this. Allah knows. You do not know, right? So, Amr bil ma'aru kuntum khayra umma ukhurit ninnas. You know, that duty we are not doing purposely or we are not doing automatically, or we are not doing it because we are not careful about it, Allah knows. Somehow, we also taken part, you know, in the calamity there. So, what we there? The best answer is there, okay, we teach him tawbat. Teach her tawbat. Because if we do tawbat, subhanallah, he will become better than us. Subhanallah. Allah's religion, you know, so beautiful. If a sinner... Even at the time of madness also, regretfully he do tawbah, he become better than the person who teach him tawbah. This is we call the true happiness. Uh, someone come to us asking, you know, I am lost, I lost, I have lost, I am lost, my life gone, everything gone, give me happiness. So we teach them tawbah. Then we will tell him, tell her. You are better than me because I am not sure whether I am good or bad, you know, because I was given knowledge and you were not given knowledge. So, accountability and the tawbah, this all actually part of happiness in all the cases. Allah knows best. I think I, uh, I didn't go to your answer directly, but I just, inshallah, in a different way, I just share with all of you.